It'll put it on the. There's an actual ticket, like an actual uh, like a tournament ticket for in houses, and hmm. it tracks all the games against like Dota buff for your esports profile, and it'll have all the replays available. Oh, so it'll be like, oh hey, look at all these ticketed games that I played for esports, but it's just in houses. I, I look at it a little bit to check players out. Sometimes it it gives me more. As you know, someone who wants to has to draft eight people, I, it gives you a little bit of a clue of who is actually active, which is nice. Yeah, that's true. All right, so for the YouTubes, hopefully my connection will stay up right now. Today we are going to do another Reddit Dota 2 League um, in-house. Just a couple of random people joining in. Not random people that are in the Reddit Dota 2 League uh, guild. And we got an actual ticketed in-house going on right now. Undying first ban coming out, obvious. No, I mean, you can you can only discuss that ban so much. Yeah, I think it's... I, I played that era last night and... Uh, I haven't played in a while because it's been banned pretty much every single game, mm -hmm. and I don't want to pick it an all pick because I feel horrible for doing it. <laughs> um, but I, I played it last night because we managed to sneak it through in the draft, and the hero's just, it's still so strong. And I used to play mm -hmm. hero when it was not as good, but it is just, it's crazy, guys. It's, he's I've disgusting and, like, an aggressive. Oh, yeah. No, I'm, I'm, I've now validated my concerns with banning that hero every single game because it's just such a good hero. It's so strong, and it, it just can't die. That's the... I, you basically will have to have four heroes going on you before you start dying, and you start getting into real danger, and by that point, you just win the game, so... It's a very Naga game. Bounty Hunter. What? Are these targeted bans? I... I don't know. I'm pretty sure Lux is just gonna play Gyro, and that's the only mm -hmm. person I know on their team besides Amatsu, and I've always seen him play that Dazzle last game, and then a couple previous games, but... Uh, I don't know if those are targeted bands or if he just hates those heroes and he just doesn't want to play against them. I've seen I've seen some people draft like that with limited success in in games like this where they'll uh, they'll just ban heroes they just don't want to play against and just leave the pool open. So I think it's definitely a way to draft. Um, well, because you got to learn how to play against the the heroes. Like they're not broken to the point where like they just auto win. Besides maybe on dying, but. I think the only real reason to buy a banned bounty hunter first phase is if you just want to pick a, a jungle hero, you want to pick a Chen or something yeah. like, right away. I think that's the only time I could see it happening because bounty hunter, bounty hunter against Chen is an instant loss almost every single time, mm -hmm. unless you do a really good job of keeping the bounty hunter out of the way, which is extremely difficult. Mm -hmm. so you basically have to walk with your jungle and hold his hand. Right, which doesn't benefit either of you, because then you have a support hero sitting by your jungle hero, they're both not getting levels, and the bounty's still going to pick up some of the creeps and some of the experience, no matter mm -hmm. what, unless you're just chasing around with a, a minute one gem, so... I think that, uh, I think it's a good ban if they're going to pick Chen right here, but I don't know about it otherwise, or I guess an Enigma or something, but... I can see it, I guess, right in certain now. situations. Naga, I don't understand. Naga, I don't get. Dark's here. Darkseer is actually, I mean, like, they're going Wombo right now so far. Yeah. I mean, I saw Vichy Gaming run the Darkseer Urshaker yesterday, and it was pretty good combo, if I do say so myself. Pretty People are really hero. valuing Darkseer Clockwork as, like, key offlaners. I'm glad to see Darkseer come back, only because I like playing Darkseer. So He's so around. easy. He's easy. He has very, he has a very niche skill set for things, and I think he's a good hero. But he does definitely have good games and bad games that he's in. Yeah. I think this game's okay with the gyrocopter lion. I think he's good against squishy heroes like that that he can pull into the wall and do a lot of damage to him. He's kind of like a big blade male if you think about the hero like that. Mm -hmm. He has good lane advantage and he can do really well in lane no matter what. He can always get farm because he has ion shell and his ult is just like a 400 damage blade bail that will kill any hero that does a lot of damage to themselves. So I think against Gyrocopter is one of the best heroes. Yeah. Uh, Darkseer is definitely, I mean, he just got buffed as well. So Yeah. yeah. I think that hero will start to see a little bit more popularity. He's very survivable. He can Five always get farm and his ult remain. is crazy good if you can land it correctly. And Earthshaker it will always and forever be a top tier, at least a medium tier pick. Well, even he, cre if he creates a wall, them. so like... Yeah. I mean, it's, it's a hero that, and I think one of the best Dota articles I ever read, which I have no idea who wrote it, because apparently it wasn't that important to me. Wow. Um, I haven't seen a Void picked up in a long love, time. I love Faces Void, I love playing that hero. He's um, one of my favorite heroes. He is a, I, I value that hero above a lot of other heroes. I haven't picked him up that much lately. I played him maybe like a week ago, but he's a good hero. I, I don't know about this so far. They have two melee initiators with the Void. I don't know if I'm too keen on that, but it's still a good hero. Good at getting. Well, I mean, if you get a good, too. if you get a good chrono, 
after a vacuum, Earthshaker can just jump in and just spam R so that when the when the um, Chrono goes down, he immediately kills everybody. Yeah, that's definitely true. And the, the Darkster can actually cast the uh, vacuum inside a Chrono too, and it'll pull them still. It'll move them. Yeah, it'll move them to the center. Hmm. So I think it's it's a, a very difficult to land combo. And like I was saying in the previous game, you know, you definitely don't want to pick too many of those heroes that are you know technical combos and you know things. Well, because that are great. if if one person f like flubs the combo, you could screw up a whole team fight. All right, then you're screwed, and then you have nothing. And I mean, you look at a team like the Radiant has drafted so far with their first three picks, and those are all very straightforward heroes. Mm -hmm. You know, get Sables, they got Gyrocopter, who does, you know, flat cannon, and is really good in lane because Rocket Barrage is a good spell, and they just do that. So who do you want to see mid? They don't have the Shadow, they don't have the Magnus, they don't have the Quap, they don't have... Maybe, maybe they could pick up a Storm, but... Yeah. I th still think that Dyer should pick up a hero that really does well with Faceless Void. I don't know why they banned Skywrath Mage when you're going to pick Void. They banned him half, like right before they picked Void, too, mm -hmm. so I'm not super sure about that. I think that Queen, no, Queen's banned, too. I don't know. I I think maybe Invoker, I guess. There's not really Exhort Invoker, yeah. I think Exhort Invoker's a good one with him if Bane someone's able to play. I think Bane's okay. He doesn't really add to their combo in I don't way. think he's he needed. Really anything. Yeah, Unless... he's a, I mean, he's a good support hero, and he is definitely something I think uh, he's good in every lineup. There's not a lineup that, you know, having a single target disable that goes through BKB and, you know, a six second or a seven second disable isn't good on. He's a good hero. Oh, well, yeah, he's good. He's he just... definitely doesn't good with those three heroes. He, the, but they picked a Bane, unless he's going to go BKB, they have Lion Vengeful. If, yeah. like, he doesn't get an ultimate. Yeah, that's definitely true. That's something to look out for. And even the rocket, I, I mean, it's slow, but, you know, it's just done. They have three stuns, four, so if you can't hex. So, I mean, it's it's not the best time for Bane, but if he can stay spaced out behind the other three heroes, the, Fae, the Void, the Darkseer, and the Earthshaker, I think he can still get it off as long as yeah. they... It's they just... Just, but, yeah, it's just difficult. It's a hard combo. It's, you know, you need good positioning, and you need good execution to pull it off. And that's not always the easiest thing to do, obviously. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to think of what they can even so do. So what if they ran the Earthshaker mid? Um, and picked up I, like I, something I, like a Marana or... Um, I mean, even... I don't know, I don't like Lena support really that much, but... Yeah, I don't like the Lena with the Bane as much as I like Marana. I think Lena with Shadow Demon is really the combo, because... Yeah. They, the second, the Shadow Demon second spell, which I can't remember the name of. Uh, Soul Catcher. Soul Catcher, that one. Uh, I think that helps her out a lot early on because she doesn't do an insane amount of damage until she gets some levels, whereas the Marana with the Bane, you get the five second stun and you get a bunch of auto attacks. One of my top three favorite heroes, Nature's Prophet. I am, I want to like that hero and be good at it, but I am incapable of using Treants. <laughs> you're not, you're not micro like person? People, like, you know, I'm terrible. I, Anything that has more than one unit is just a nightmare. I would like want to get better. It's one of those things that I've tried to practice, but I just I get so frustrated doing it because it's just so difficult. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I like, I generally it. play like Prophet, Forge Sphere Invoker, Enigma. It's too much. Enigma's okay for me because that doesn't require as much uh, coordination with your units. I mean, you can have them split push lanes and stuff, and the jungle farm is easy with those. I can do that micro, but the Prophet off lane is where I really run into problems because I oh. Have pull, you ever played? Like, have you ever played a bunch stuff. of Lone Druid at all? I have in the past when he was really, really Dying good, and I was able to kind of lean he's on. He's decent that right now, like, though. Yeah, back when he was, like, could like use armlet and stuff. Yeah, I, I, was, I was okay on him because he was just really good, and you could just kind of use that as a crutch to just kind of run in and you know start hitting stuff and make yeah. it happen. But uh, I wouldn't say that I'm great at it. But I, I'm not a big, I'm not a big micro guy. I'm not very good at it. So. Mm. I do like the Prophet, though. I think it's a great hero. I think it's probably one of the strongest offlaners right now. Uh, it can remaining. do a multitude of things, and it can benefit the team in a lot of different ways. Five so, if he's used correctly, it's good. Yes. But if if you can't get the link, if you can't get the creeps pulled through, Reserved. and they destroy your treants, then you're not going to get experience. Right. It's definitely a very high skill cap hero, which is why it's always weird to be seeing like a bunch of like lower tier players playing that hero because because he has like you know teleport. Well, it's e yeah, it's farm. easy. It's easy to farm. Yeah, it's easy to farm, but it's very hard to make that hero uh, do what it can do to the best of its ability. He arguably has one of the strongest spells in the game. He can literally teleport anywhere, turning a team fight or like a a three v two into a three v three or even a three v 
two into a four v two and just taking a tower afterwards. Yeah, I, I think it is. Like I said, you know, I, it's it's probably one of my favorite offline heroes to draft as long as I don't have to play it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's very good at what it's doing. And one of the things that I was saying about that uh, article is that. All the heroes in this game that you always see every patch over and over again are all heroes that can do something that no other hero can. Nature's Prophet, for instance, has his teleport. No other hero can teleport across the map and go into a blind gank or help every single lane all at once. Say with the Earthshaker, who has the wall. There's not another hero that has a wall like that, aside from kind of clockwork, but not really something that can block mm -hmm. movement like that without any level. So you get to level one and you can lock someone in for 10 seconds because they yeah. can't get out of somewhere. So it's, you know, it's so heroes like that do a great job in every patch because they're always useful. They're always useful in a certain way. Viper, though, they could pick. Ten seconds they could pick against this, but. I mean, at least they picked a hero that can hit into the, hit into the chrono, I guess. I, I think that an arranged hero is definitely the only option. I still am a little bit concerned about the fact that they don't have a lot of damage dump in early to the Void Chrono. I'm talking mm -hmm. about, like, you know, level 6, 7, they don't have a lot of damage dump into it. And Void with the nurse that he's taken, he is not as good at killing heroes that early on as he used to be. Uh, Mask of Madness nerfs and uh, just his overall stat gain, I think he got nerfed a couple of patches ago. Yep. He's not as good early on at those, like, 6, 7 to get, like, solo kills and stuff like that. He definitely needs the assistance from another hero, so... I mean, they might be able to get a double, like a Bane Brain Sap or the Bane Ult or something, but it's going to be... They honestly difficult. might be able to run a PA mid here. What? I think they should have, but... Zeus. I don't understand the Zeus pick into a Viper. If no. that Viper is competent in the slightest, he's going to wreck Zeus. Yeah, I think that's probably actually one of the weakest heroes against Viper you can pick, to be honest with you. I think they had a ton of options to go on against Viper. All they need to do is Zeus. max Corrosive Armor. Yeah, they could have picked Razor, who does at least decently well against the Viper. He's like, he, he's like Viper. Yeah, he's like the anti-Viper Viper. Viper. Yeah. The, both those heroes, big anti-carries. I think the Razor's good against Void as well, since Void oh, has yeah. spent so much time in Chrono. Either he runs out of his Chrono to get away from your Link, which is fine, because then he's just running out of his Chrono and not doing anything, or he just gets all of his damage stolen. So. And it's, I mean, it's awesome to the point where if you can Link, as he jumps in on top of you in Chronos, you just... A link for a chrono is... I'd take that any day. Oh yeah, it's a great trade. And I mean, he's not going to kill you most of the time because you're Brazier. I mean, he's got good armor rating, he's got good health. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got a great hero. So, I mean, I, I think that the Zeus is one of the worst picks I could have made, honestly. They could have done a lot of better things. And, you know, like you said, the uh, the PA, I think, would have been great as well. They might have run into some problems with the amount of space on the map to farm. Mm -hmm. um, which you won't have as much problems with the Zeus, I guess. He doesn't require that much space to farm as much as, like, a PA or something. I can understand uh, Zeus sitting back and just arc lightning farming, but other than that, he's just going to lose the lane just because yeah, of... Think... He's just going to need to survive. Yeah, I don't think that that's really what you pick Zeus for, either. You want him to get up and get into the levels of people to harass the other hero, and he can't harass Viper. Viper doesn't care about it. Yeah. He gets, you know, two, three levels in Corrosive, and he, it doesn't even matter. All right, before we get too in-depth uh, into analysis of the game, we're going to run through these player names right now because even though they're not teams, we like to highlight the people that play over and over and over again. So over on the Radiant team, we have Rix on the Lion, KC on the Gyro, Gortex on Venge, Mr. Maydew on the Zeus, and Luxie on the Prophet, and I'm going to let Walrus handle the Dire. And we got uh, Tippin on Bane, switching lanes on the Darks here, uh, Paz on the Baseless Void, uh, Korean letters, something that I can't read his name because his name's too long on Viper, and Illist on the Earthshaker. The oh, it's just Korean letters. So yeah, that's his name. <laughs> so I could find him in those. So they give it to the Viper, and I think that is just Viper wins. Like, if if he, get, if he gets level 2 and has corrosive skin with poison attack he could chase down the Zeus. I mean, I wish... He honestly wishes for a better block. That block's kind of not really in his favor. It's just media of the road, mid, um, middle of the road, but... Yeah, I think that you'd be right, except for some reason this Viper decided to get a wand at level 1. What? So he doesn't actually do any damage. I mean, like, I get, I get getting a magic stick, but a whole wand? Right. Getting a magic stick and, um... Two share tangos and uh, you know like two two of uh, the uh, what are they up top the actually gyro is gonna get walled off he uses rocket barrage on this bane but now he's alone I don't know if they're gonna be able to kill him 
They're not going to be able to kill him, but they put a definitely a huge dent in his... He doesn't have a self. Neither does the lion form. They have a lot of tangos, but... I didn't realize how Radiant was landing this, and I am very confused and concerned. I don't... I mean, like, I, un I really do understand how much aggressive play can stop them. Like, they, you can stop the Void from farming a lot, but a dual lane... I think that that's my biggest issue with it is why is this Venge bottom with a yeah. against a Darkseer trying to help a Nature Prophet? The Nature Prophet can do okay against Darkseer. He'll be yeah, he's ranged. He's not he going to worry about the Ion Shell too much. Right, and he can avoid that, and he can harass the Darkseer, and he can do plenty against him. So I don't think that they. I definitely don't think that they need this Venge down here. To They're actually going to get a kill, kill him. Yeah. which I guess kind of nullifies everything we just said, but. I still think, I mean, despite that, I mean, the Ninja Prophet's going to have a good start, and uh, that's good for him. It means he gets his levels early on, and he's able to do something. I think um, now that they got this kill, they should rotate the bench top. Yeah, I think they need the bench top. I, they can get really aggressive on these heroes if they do have an extra stun like that. Right now they have the Lion stuns, and that'll work great with the Gyro, but if they can lock a hero down with the Earth Spike and the Venge Missile, mm -hmm. I think that they can just kill anyone in this lane, especially if someone like a Bane. Like, they can just go on the Bane and stun him twice and then get two Rocket Barrages off on him, and he's dead. He's not going to be able to do anything. He's got 500 life. Uh, the Earthshaker, similar story. He's got boots, so it's a little bit more difficult, but I think they definitely need the Venge to go up there, and they can just go at will on these people. They can win that lane easily if they have three heroes, but with just the Gyro and the Lion, they're unable to just go on people like that. Yeah. I feel like they're actually playing very well, but they're not going to be overly, like, they're not going to win. I think they're just trading because this Void is getting okay farm. He's not doing well, but he's doing just as well as the Gyro is. Right, I mean, that's, you know, a trading farm, and that's, I, mean, I guess, you know, the, with the nature farm, oh, looks like the just going top. So she got a haste rune, that actually oh, should nice. kill it. Oh, no, it's going to run it's out. It's going to run out, but they actually it's saw special. that. Um, I think if this nature probably really contributes in the early... Wow, they're going to actually hex up the Void. Magic Missile, and they can they get the... Oh, wow, Gyro would have been able to get the Rocket Barrage off. Actually, he didn't understand the range oh, of that. Anyway. Oh, Flak was so good. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. That was a really good turn on. He skilled it as he was going to. That was a good play. That was a good play right there. They get, do get that kill. I'm surprised, but they do actually end up, get, end up getting it, so. I think that this is the right choice, though, to have the Venge up there. Like, I mean, that didn't even go that well. They had, you know, some disruptions there, Shaker Fisher, and they still managed to get a kill, so I think this is definitely the setup that they want, and I think this is a good way to start this game. They don't have a good way to fight against these three heroes. They can stop them from going on the Faceless Void with the Fissure and with the Sleep, but they can't kill anyone. They're not going to kill anyone in this lane unless they make a big mistake and get out of position. Yes. Oh, and did you say, by the way, are these replays downloadable? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all the ticketed games are downloadable through the ticket. Which I believe is free. But Magic Missile. Wave. Oh, they're actually going to change up and go on the Void. He's hexed up. A few Rocket Barrages, he's going to get actually slept, so. Yeah, and I mean, like I said, they can stop going on the Void, but still the Void eats, you know, three quarters of his life, and what do they have to show for it? Oh, wow. This line's taking a lot of damage here. Right Earth Spike, did they, yeah, did they just stack? No, that was not on cooldown. So. Uh, throw it. But, uh, yeah, I mean, they can save the face Void from getting on it like they just did, but really it doesn't do anything for them. The face Void isn't even on the lane now, he can't move up, so mm -hmm. they're doing what they need to to shut him down. It's just a matter of whether or not this Gyrocopter is able to get the farm out lane he needs, which it looks like he will be able to. It looks like he's doing okay on last hits. Um, the Dyer definitely winning both of the solo lanes, though. Uh, this this Nature Prophet isn't doing a good job of farming underneath this tower, and he's not getting the creep kills that he needs for being in a short lane position like this 1v1. Mm -hmm. I think this is one of the best places for Prophet to be against a hero like Darkseer. Uh, he definitely has the tools to deal with him, but he's just not getting the last as he needs for it. So hopefully, you know, the Gyro can really start snowballing and start getting on people, and he can do a lot of damage to the other team, but uh, they definitely need to have him to have a really great early to mid game to get the other heroes back into the game and get Nature Traffic ganking and get the Zeus doing something, because right now all he's doing is just losing to Viper in lane. So they rotated the Earthshaker mid to try to get something. If that Zeus steps out, like even within Fissure range, he doesn't have to be completely even blocked off, but Earthshaker just walked underneath a Radiant Ward, so... That's Dire Ward. 
Uh, no. Up. Oh, the top one, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so they definitely know he's coming. And, uh, I don't even know if it's worth spending time ganking the Zeus, to be honest with you. Um, they might even be able to gank, like, the Nature's Prophet or something more effectively, I think. Mm -hmm. I don't even... They're not gonna... Even if they kill the Zeus, it doesn't matter. The Zeus is losing the lane so bad that... I think you just leave Viper there to kind of just do Viper stuff. That's the reason you pick Viper. He's very self-sufficient. He could win almost every single lane, especially against the Zeus. So I think you just kind of leave him there and let him do his thing. I, like, I understand that a lot of people... I mean, a lot of games, it's like you need to rotate really early and help out the mid lane. But with a Viper, you're just screwing over this Void by moving the Earthshaker out. Well, I think the void screwed either way if he's up there, but like I said, I think he should maybe gank bottom or do anything. He needs to get levels and he needs to do something somewhere. So even just helping the Darkseer or something like that, which the Darkseer is cutting lane now, so I guess he can't really help him out that much, but um, they need to get something out of these heroes and they need to either get the Faceless Void into the game, which is going to require someone else up there besides the two support heroes in the void because they can't go on anyone. Or they need to just rotate around and do things, and you know, win the solo lanes even harder than they are already. Darks are trying to die, Prophet. Yeah, you're just gonna sprout him up, get him away. But oh Probably. wow, the Prophet actually is stuck behind the Fissure. Just TP out, man. Bottom tower I can. I think. He can TP back. out. Oh wow, what? Yeah, okay. That was right. weird. The animation stopped. That was kind of a waste for Wall, but I don't think it matters honestly. He's probably gonna get this tower now. I'm actually surprised he even skilled wall that early. I know it got buffed, but still. Yeah, wall, mine it wall without vacuum. Not not a great spell. It's okay, I guess. I think he should definitely take three, three straight into vacuum right now. I think taking more than... I think that is the build. Uh, usually I wouldn't get one in the wall, but getting the three in vacuum and then two in the wall and two in surge is pretty standard build for him at this point. Mm-hmm. So up top, slept on the gyro, void still. They're trying to fight, but... Yeah. Well, I mean, they can stop, they do it, they have good... Uh, Bane has a good defensive support for stopping their aggression, but... I think, when he's out of mana right now... I think the Radiant should bring Prophet up here. I think he was trying to TP in for a second there, but he stopped when they... Ben just him. actually gonna get caught out right now on top of this Viper. Where's the ulti Viper? Oh, oh. No, he's gonna slow No, nope, he's just gonna go for the slow. I mean, he's gonna get the kill, but... Oh, maybe not. Oh, he is. No, yeah, he's totally gonna be I'll hold this guy before he steals all your mana. There you go. Oh. I'll use your stick. Come on. Oh, now you're dead. Oh, we got him, so. Dyer's middle tower. Oh, Jaro actually let the, the lion just die. Yeah, I mean, I don't think he could have done much about it, but. Oh, this isn't a good fight, Gyro. Now you're gonna lose no, this one. Gyro. Gyro, wand bait. Ooh. That wand. Yeah, and that's even with one point only in the nether toxin. Mm hmm. So I. I I think this Viper build's okay, actually. Usually I wouldn't approve it, but with the amount of magic damage that the uh, Radiant have, I think it's alright. He took two in the poison attack, I think it's okay. He actually have... he actually picked up a casual cloak to go with his skin. I think you should just go the um, Glimmer Cape, to mm -hmm. be honest with you. Yep. I think it's a good item this game. I think it's a good item on Viper. Oh, uh, definitely. It's with... cheaper, cheaper, than, cheaper than Shadow Blade, which is a good item on Viper, and still kind of serves the same purpose while making him tankier instead of making him more squishy. So I've heard some pros say that Glimmer Cape is easily like one of the most broken items in the game right now because with one, like with 2k gold you get magic immunity. Basically yeah, I mean, magic immunity. For definitely for, you know, lower farm heroes and even on heroes like a Viper That's what he or picks up. Like, he doesn't need a damage item. Yeah, and he doesn't need a damage item early on. He has plenty of tools to do damage to people and slow people and gank mm -hmm. people. And he so can... I think the survivability is the most important thing and without getting mech, which I think the Darkseer should be getting, he is because um, I think the Guardian Greaves are great on Dark Tier. Oh, uh, no. Gives him mana issues without having to just expend into mana boots like you used to have to, so. But I think Viper is one of the only people who gets. Oh, actually, gonna get an alt off on the Lion. Just a few auto attacks, and they actually might be able to get Venge as well. Magic Missile's gonna stop for a bit, but this Viper is doing a lot. But as I was saying, Viper is one of the only people to pick up a Glimmer Cape that can actually get use out of the. Uh, the attack speed because if you pick it up on a support it's like you don't want it for the attack speed they don't care that much about the attack speed no i think it's okay and it's, uh, for support heroes it's great uh later on when you don't can't afford a bkb on some heroes I mean, yeah some heroes, you're never gonna get a bkb for instance on the iranian side even 
Uh, they're never Lions never going to be able to have enough farm and be able to devote it 3,900 gold into getting a BKB at any point. But 2,000 gold into a Glimmer Cape, you can definitely do it. Gives them the invisibility to gank, gives them survivability, plus the ability to go invisible and force the other team to buy rev, which is really important in some games. If you don't have an invisible hero, oh, the sniper's died. I don't know doing. The gyrocopter, I mean, I think, I think Viper actually... Oh, well, chrono, chrono, chrono. Oh, he's no, he doesn't have it. What? He didn't get it at six. I think he just leveled. I don't think he. I don't think he skilled at six yet. No, he doesn't. No, he hadn't. No, he has a level in stats. No, he doesn't. Where do you oh. get those stats from? Oh, he's circling. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He has it now. So I mean, they're gonna get those dead eye, and I think that the dire team's really stabilizing around this viper. That play wasn't great, but they still got two kills out of it. I mean, he. Went in and he died for you know a kill on Vasus Void and a kill on the Earthshaker, so it's not really the worst trade you could ever make. No, I think it's a decent trade for them at this point, and I think that that's okay for what they're doing, and they're getting what they need to out of this early game. This Dangerous Prophet hasn't done nearly enough to uh, really like make a big difference. So, I hope this is going to be a Maelstrom and not a Midas. For the Void. Yeah, I. I'm pretty sure he's going Midas, but I agree with the assessment that it is not good. Well, because, I mean, you're going to get the farming capabilities from the Maelstrom. It's, I mean, it's a decent backup plan. It's too late for a Midas. Yeah, I think it's too late for a Midas, and even if it's not too late for Midas, I don't think the Midas that is was, the item on that hero. That was awkward. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think that uh, Midas is the item on that hero, honestly, just because it, he comes online so late and you have so many tools early on. He still has the Chrono, and I guess in this game... I was saying to the draft, he doesn't have a good hero to yes. back him up, so maybe that's his reasoning, that he doesn't have that hero to kind of get him or kills early on, so he just wants to farm. It could work for them this game, only because they have so many other heroes that can fight right now, but... The Venge uh, actually is getting gone on right now. A few spells from the Dire, and he's gone, but Prophet TP's in. He TP'd actually into three different heroes. Where's the where's the sleep? Wow, the Bane actually uh, getting pinged out. And it is going to be a Midas for the Void there. I think, like I said, it might actually work out this game, even though he got it so late. The same way, kind of, that the last game, the Invoker, worked out for a little bit. Just because, I mean, they made some other mistakes that cost them that game. But it might work out for him just because the other four heroes are creating so much space. They're running the other team's jungle and getting kills and forcing the Prophet to stay in the bottom half of the map and not ganking him. So. Yeah. I think it's, honestly, it could just be a catch-up Midas because he has less net worth than the Prophet. Lion darks here trade because he gets injured under a tower and dies. Viper's still late. He's going for uh, Yasha now, yep. Mm -hmm. So he's probably just going to go. Why does he have two iron branches? Uh, I think he was going to build into mech, but then uh, the darks here picked it up. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, you're right. I was trying to figure out why. I was like, why does he have two branches? Just um, yeah, that's something I didn't, didn't want to talk about because I don't know if that was something that. You just don't know, but this void, he didn't get points in bash for some reason, which, when you play, even when you play off lane, I don't think there's any excuse to not get one level in bash. It's an awesome, yeah. awesome uh, value point. 40 damage on an auto attack, even 10% of the time is, uh, is worth it every time. Um, getting the extra level is to... A wave with a magic missile, they're actually going to be able to take out Darkseer. Bane might get taken out by the tower. Nope. A little Arc Lightning from the Zeus, as well as a Thunderbolt on the Viper. One more Arc Lightning. Or Spike actually kills him. And Prophet TP'd in. Almost actually died to the Earthshaker if the uh, Gyrocopter didn't follow up. But that was a four for nothing. Yeah, mistakes were made in that fight. They mm -hmm. didn't get the initiation that... What is this Gyro... There's so many builds that I can't even deal oh, with Oh gosh, right now. Vlad. What is this Gyro doing? I mean, Vlad's did get buffed. Vlad's no, no, does. No, no, no. I'm not even talking about the Vlad's. The Vlad's I can deal with. The fact that he has two levels in Rocket Barrage and two in Flat Cannon, and the rest are in stats. He's level nine. Uh, I guess he doesn't value the homing missile. I mean, it's a. It is. It's not reliable, but. Right, okay. So he's got four skill points, though. He doesn't even have his ult. He didn't take his ult at any point. He's just, uh... uh I, I don't know. I, I was trying to rationalize the missile, and I was just going to leave the ult up in the air, but... <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I don't understand what's going on. Lion's not going to get his ult, probably. No, he has his ult. 
He does have two points in Mana Drain, though. Which, I know people talk shit about Mana Drain, but I think it's I, good. I think he's actually better off maxing the Mana Drain this game than the Hex. It, Hex is one of those spells that it, it can be useful to get it early on, but it costs a lot more mana. You're almost guaranteed to not get off two in a fight, even if you get it down to lowest, because 12 seconds is a long time. You might if you have like an extended chase or like a chase back, but for the initiation purposes, you only need one level in. Mm -hmm. The Mana Drain gets a lot of more use than the Hex does twice. And it's going to let it's going to allow you to m use your skills and stay outside in the uh, uh, out of the base, because with the Tranquils and if you max Mana Drain, you can just Mana Drain off of Creeps and you'll never have to go back. You'll have so much experience. Yeah, definitely, and I think that hero does have some inherent mana problems just with how much mana his ult costs, especially at level 11, so I, I think it is worth getting the extra points into Mana Drain instead of Hex, just because of the usefulness you get out of it early on. Yeah, it's a weird game for builds, all mm. around. I can't imagine a reason why you get stats over any of Gyro spells. Even one I, level in homing missile, I think you could get at least one. I think. I mean, if they're gonna kill it a hundred percent of the time, I don't think it's worth it. But they don't have like all five ranged heroes. They have two ranged heroes, so. Yeah, I. Uh, yeah, but even with that, he should have four in his other two spells. I, just, I, I am very confused. So, how did this Darkseer get in this predicament? Because I don't see a path. Oh, there was a path. Okay. So, Prophet's oh, gonna nice. TP in, actually just miss the darks here. And he's going the, uh, stacking Null Talismans with Blade Mill. Yeah, it's gonna be super late, though. I don't think it's worth getting at this point. He should've just got minus when he was having a hard time. I... That build's great if he has these these exact items five minutes ago. It's awesome, but mm -hmm. at this point, he's not really going to be doing anything to anyone because who cares about the blade mail on their team, really? They don't Viper really have too many sure nukes doesn't. besides, I mean, the bane pure damage. Yeah, I mean, Viper sure doesn't care about blade mail, really. I mean, he's going to do enough damage where it doesn't matter, and he negates a lot of it with his cloak plus his passive. So, uh, I don't know who he's planning on doing that to. Darks here, maybe, but I mean. It, it's very unreliable. If he Viper smoked himself. himself. He's actually running up on this gyro. Oh. Do they see him? I don't know. But he glimmers. Yeah, they, they're pinging him out. And he's actually going to run right into the Prophet and Venge. If he ults the Prophet, the Prophet might die. Oh, Ion Shell on. Where's the Surge? Nope. Gonna get swapped out, but definitely gonna be able to kill this Venge. Nice vacuum to kill the trees. And this Viper wants this profit, but that's not gonna happen. I think that's a testament to how far, aside from their respective carries, how far Dyer is ahead this game right now with map control. Mm -hmm. They are just cleaning up on the Radiant in terms of being able to be just in their jungle. And actually, the Radiant's leading in net worth a little bit, but... Um, the Dyer are definitely taking good advantage of the map that they have, just based on the heroes that are on the other team. They don't have a lot of ways to push them out, just with the items and heroes that they have. I think Prophet's going Maelstrom too now, and not... You know, I can't speak to it too much, only because, like I said in the draft, I really don't play that much that hero because I'm not very good at it, but... It's just, it's 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 just pushing. I mean, it's it's a really good pushing item. It is. It definitely is. I think it's going to be a little late, though, but he might be able to make some use out of it. Oh, Venge actually TPs right into the Chrono, and Lion with a few stuns from the Urshaker as well, and Viper is just going to take out the Venge. One more. Nope. But unfortunately, the Void does go down. Nature's Prophet's going to TP on top of the Viper, but if he would have not cast its Sprout, he honestly might have killed him. Yeah. Turn on the Blade Mail. Oh, he didn't even cast his ult. If he would have ulted and then... Vacuum? Vacuum? Nope. On cooldown. And that is a perfect example of why we don't take four skills and the um, backtrack early on. Because sometimes it just doesn't proc and then you just die. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you just get by four spells and nothing actually happens. And your bash does double damage in Chrono, so I don't know oh, why yeah, you would almost. not. 
That's a crazy, crazy good pass up when you all people. And he got two ults there. He could have bashed down the, the other uh, support heroes for, mm -hmm. you know, five seconds and really done a lot of damage to them early on, but he just doesn't have enough damage for it right now. So now Void is also going Maelstrom. Which, with the Mask of Madness I, and the Midas, I don't agree with at all because Maelstrom is a backup attack speed farming item. And you're not going to be afraid of, I mean, what are you going to use the, if you go Mjolnir, what are you going to use it for? Are you going to use it for the Treants? Yeah, uh, maybe. I think, uh, I think that MKB was the right choice here. Mm -hmm. I think that anything damage related was the right choice, because then he can just chrono the dark, uh, the Even if he went, even if he went Crystalis. Yeah, I mean, anything, I think damage Because related, Crystalis would, happen, would get rid of Profit, well, not with the build that Profit's going, but... It would get rid of Zeus, Venge, and Lion immediately. Just so many squishy heroes. A few right clicks with Mask of Madness, he can crit them and die. Dyer's bottom tower I think the damage was definitely the, uh, the ideal choice here, but he's going to get the Maelstrom, and if it helps him farm more and faster, then it might be worth it, but he's getting a lot of items to help him farm more and faster and not a lot to do anything. Yeah, it's he's going like... to have to start doing some damage at some point. The Viper's going to fall off, and the Darkseer combo is not going to be as strong once they get a BKB on Gyro. Um, so he's definitely going to need to start uh, pulling some weight here pretty soon. So he needs mm -hmm. to get into some damage items, into a Chrysalis, into an MKB, into something that's going to do uh, a heavy amount of damage to the heroes he goes on with his chrono. I mean, it's only 20 minutes of the game, and Gyro's actually at 10k net worth. He's 3k of, ahead of his own team, and maybe one and a half ahead of the darks here. Yeah, Up top, though, chrono on three... Earthshaker, he needs to Echo Slam right after this. He does. Takes out the Lion and the Venge. And unable to clean up the rest, actually, because of the way that the Fisher was positioned. But Gyro's going to chase us. If he ults right now, not going to be able to stop the TP, though. Yeah, yeah, that's a good trade for Dyer. It's two support heroes, but it's two support heroes on the void. It's mm -hmm. more farm. He is going for Maelstrom. He's about the recipe up, so... Uh, He's looking for a late game win, but I am a little bit cautious based on their heroes. I think that the Radiant has good options late only because they have Gyrocopter and the Dire team is going to want to group up quite a bit. Well, I mean, the the Radiant, if they can make it late, they have Gyro, they have Zeus, and they have Prophet. Right. right, and that's, you know, they have a ton of AoE. They have really good ways of going on all heroes. And like I said, the Dire team is going to be generally at least nearby oh. each other. Actually, the Prophet's going to go for a, a Desolator. I think that's actually more what I would prefer, because at least it just gives him more fighting power than he's already gone for the Blade Mail and the two Null Tallies. Mm -hmm. I think that he's not going to get a lot done split pushing this game because there's a Void and there's an Earthshaker. It's going to be difficult for him to just kind of be on his own world. He's going to surge on the Viper. He's going to find the Lion and a few auto attacks. Lion's going to get the Hex off and Mana Drain, but Ion Shell damage? Not going to be able to do anything. I don't think the Prophet should have stayed. The Prophet should have just left immediately. Vacuum? Nope, he already actually wasted it, but they're still going to be able to have enough damage. Prophet made a mistake. He kind of hesitated. When he saw those two, he should have just left immediately. That was a big mistake for him. He needs to he needs to focus more on keeping himself alive. I think he's focused a lot on... Uh, Team. Yeah, in, in some situations that could be a good thing, but I think Prophet's one of those heroes where... You basically just need to ignore your team at some point, and this is one of those points yeah. that's early game. I mean, I can understand, like, early game coming in for the gank that nobody expects, and then you snowball from there, but you don't need to be at every single fight. You need to be on the oh, other side of the map, is. pressuring the map. Yeah, especially now with the items he has. I mean, he's got the desk completed now on that courier, but... Uh... He doesn't really have good options for just man fighting a Viper. Like, what is he going to do to Viper? He can hit him a couple times and he's going to take his armor away, but he's not going to kill him before yes. the Viper kills him. So he shouldn't be trying to take fights with the uh, dire core heroes. Viper went back for the Silver Edge. He's going to keep the cloak casually. <laughs> he's having trouble putting, putting together the, the Silver Edge. No, he's used to the he's used to the old recipe cost before they changed it in this patch because it was three hundred before. And not yeah. So <laughs> he's put together um, the S and Y four times. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. He's not buying four Sajin Yashas. He just can't make items. I mean, uh, four Sajin Yashas. Those stats. Up top, though, Void actually gonna go on the lion. Easy kill with the Viper. 
the Viper has now gone with he's going to try and get a Silver Edge and a Yasha, which I assume he's going to build in a Manta. And I didn't actually think about that when he got the Glimmer Cape because I didn't think he could disassemble it. But that is a crazy good build up because early on the Glimmer Cape is going to give him everything he needs, like we were talking about. And now he can build into two really good damage items. Manta Style is insanely wait, good. Viper. Wait, what? You can disassemble Glimmer Cape? Yeah. Which I didn't know that, which he just did, though. That was good like i was i think it's like an even better build up than it seemed like before just to get the glimmer cape because i mean getting into uh a manta and a silver edge is a great choice now i think those two items together are excellent i hear like viper that's going to be going for a more mid-game oriented build and he still has access to the limb is that a lot of pings coming down bot no one's defending this tower and i mean darks here is just sitting down here he's been sitting down here for a long time just pushing these lanes out well this lane out Darkster's got so much farm. I didn't realize mm -hmm. how much farm he has. The dire core heroes, the gyro might be beating them by 2k, but they got three heroes at 10k, and they are vastly out farming them at this point. Oh, yeah. I mean, the gyrocopter is like the last Blink in, vacuum, of... nothing to follow it up, though. Echo completely misses. Fissure followed up with the grab. Bane's not going to be able to finish him off, though, and they're going to eat a lot. This is a big flub. Yeah, like I was just saying, Sprout the gyrocopter's not right do anything. Shaking. The Dyer definitely messed up there. Yeah, yeah that was he, just Earthshaker a... did miss complete. He completely whiffed the. Um. Oh, the lion's gonna die to the trees. Oh, he figured it out. Radiance top tower has fallen. Oh, he almost did. So the void does have his Mjolnir, and he actually, or his um, Maelstrom, and he does have twenty four hundred gold on top of that. Does he need yeah. a BKB? Radiance top tower. Uh, I think he doesn't, only because he's going he's straight. Not able to go on anyone that's not the ventral spirit at this point now, anyway. So. Gyrocopter got a radiance. Time is money. I don't. What I the... think the case he's just trolling me, but I can't actually tell. Ah. So I think that despite the initial just insanity that it seems like getting a radiance this game is realistically it gives him damage and it also reduces uh faceless void and uh viper's chance to hit him so i guess it's not the absolute worst item he could possibly get yeah i mean like i, I get i get the possibilities behind radiance but a 28 minute radiance yeah i because it, it it's most of the question. radiance is farming yeah, I mean, I hear you, and I, it's definitely not the best item, but like I said, I don't think it's the worst item. Earth Spike with a hex, Zeus is going to jump in, ulti, but honestly, he's going to die this void immediately. That was way too overextending. And the grip on top of the gyro as well, but <laughs> the, <laughs> the void dies to the radiance. Everyone's just melting right now to this radiance. We're just talking shit about it. Yeah, like I said, I mean, it gives it damage, and it's still... It's no joke to pick up, you know, 65 damage is a lot when you're hitting every one of the opposing team. So, mm -hmm. it's, while it's very, very unorthodox, strange pickup, yeah, it's a pretty strange pickup, and I would have definitely rather seen him get an MKB. And now uh, he's getting a, the, he has Mask of Madness. He's going to eat, you. he's going to eat all this poison damage. He's going to die, though. Giving over 600 gold to Viper. Yeah, I mean, or I'm sorry, that was the Viper that gave 600 gold. 760 gold to the Viper. Yeah, this game is, is odd. This game is very trolly. Uh, the Darkseer bought back for some reason to go stare at these heroes. He doesn't have his ult up. I don't think they're going to really get anything done besides getting that tower, so I don't, I don't know about that buyback, but mm -hmm. it's, it's alright. Um, see, support heroes aren't really getting anywhere. He has his head his blink for a while, he's got a bracer, and he looks like he's getting a four staff. The Darkster, who was super rich only moments ago, and now has no gold because he bought back and he only has a thousand now, and his net worth is dropped below that of the Nature Prophet, who has been having kind of a difficult time all game. Definitely. So the um, Prophet has 1800, you think he's going to get a blink dagger? I don't think he should. I think he should get someone else to fight. Because, I mean, if you're going to. I think he's committed to but the... The only problem now. with Nature's Prophet is, yeah, you have mobility from your teleport, but you're slow as hell. Like, if you walk around trying to fight, you're just going to get caught out. Yeah, I agree. I think that the... Uh, he has... They have a lot of ways of disabling the blink with the ion shell, with the... Actually, yeah. Um, it might be okay if he can use it 
preemptively before they get on him, but I think it's uh, ambitious sometimes. Flappers can just go on this lion. Sure. Lion's gonna be able to do nothing against it. Glimmer, actually. Wow, and no vision on the Viper. I think that Lion is probably the biggest winner off of that Glimmer game. Mm -hmm. He has a great initiation already with his blink into a Sun Hex, and has good uh, offensive tools for that, and now he has a way to get out of it. So, I think for heroes like that, especially, like Lion or like some other initiators like that that are very squishy, they benefit a lot from having an item like this. Mm-hmm. So, when you said originally that Void should have gone for Monkey King Bar, this Radiance would have, would I mean, like he would have countered it. Yeah, I think that, I think that you were right when you said that uh, you know Chrysalis would have been okay too. I think either way would have been okay because you, you can't honestly predict a gyrocopter getting Radiance. No, that's that. I was just saying you know you should get a damage item, but I mean he's got a mule near now, but. No one really cares. He's not getting off big five-man chronos, and they don't have anything to combo to the chrono anyway. So basically what he's doing is increasing his farm rate, but it doesn't matter because they're just going to lose the fights that they take against the gyrocopter unless they immediately blow him up. Mm -hmm. uh, he needs to get on him, use his chrono, and then kill the gyrocopter. And that should be really his only goal because aside from the gyrocopter, the Radiant basically have nothing. They have a, a Nature's Prophet with a decent amount of farm who might be able to make something happen in the mid to late. Oh, he's dead again now. So, no. Oh. Wow, they actually stopped the Lion's TP, but he's going to have Glimmer Cave, but they don't have vision. He has a. He's going in <laughs> Mission Impossible style here right now. He needs to glimmer at the exact right time. Glimmer. <laughs> oh, oh no, he Earthshaker the actually shoved him into the trees. And saved his life. Nice. So. Oh, no, he doesn't. Oh, my oh gosh. he's right on that little edge. I hate that edge so much. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> what a player. <laughs> Where's is this line going, going to get a TP? Oh, no, no. He's going to get a TP from the base. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is such a play. But the Dyer actually going to pick up Roche? Yeah, they need to. They need to get it before the Gyro does. If the Gyro picks up Roche, they're going to lose every single fight until he loses it. So. But to be honest, ooh, this Venge is in a very compromisable situation right now. He's dead. I think. I hope so. Bash. Bash. Lord. Um... The only problem is that with the Mask of Madness, he's not going to be able to use that. Ooh, Gyro actually dies down bot. And the Viper's going to go down as well. Joe, unfortunately with his item choices, he still doesn't have a BKB, so uh, he's going to have a really difficult time against some of these heroes like Viper or someone like that. So. Yeah, this, Prophet. this Prophet's dead. Still, yeah, he still doesn't have his uh, TP, so he's dead. Oh, Ball was very questionable. But he still got two kills, and they can still push off of this, so... Mm -hmm. And the Void uh, will manage to get enough space to still get another item here, so... I think he grabs he's going up the Demon Edge. Yeah, I think now. he's going to get the Monkey, finally. Yeah, I think he's going to go for it, and I think it's the right choice, and he makes out like a bandit with the fact that Radiant doesn't make any decisive moves early on and punish him for his extremely greedy build, so... Mm -hmm. Okay. This is the let's go in one at a time, but it'll pay off because I'm faceless void. Oh. Oh, that swap though. He had Aegis, so it doesn't really matter too much, and that. So they're gonna make it out. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. I think they just. I think they honestly just straight up win this game at this point. Uh, unless the gyrocopter can really make something happen here, which it looks like he's coming down bottom right now, but they have so many. They're going to catch out the bane, but other than that, Darkseer just needs to leave, dude. Just leave. Radiance top tower is oh, under attack. Ambitious. Yeah, it's just. They just. They have the gyrocopter, and the gyrocopter still has great farm, and he's still farming everyone in the game, but his item choices aren't great for. I would say him being the only one with farm on the team. Uh, if he had someone else with farm and the, you know someone else to back up his radiance antics, he might be okay. But uh, he is really the only one with any that's really doing any sort of damage on the uh, radiant team. Zeus is kind of starting to get there, and it looks like he's going for a refresher, which I think is a good choice. Um, but it's just hard for him to try and just one v five every single fight. I'm surprised he hasn't gotten an agonims at all. 
I would have gone Aghanim's after the Bloodstone. I think Aghanim's is late game a little underwhelming for Yeah, if you don't get it early, I guess it is kind of late to build it now, but... Because the 200 damage is good if you can catch them at, you know, like you're right at level 16 or something. Uh, I think it's useful. Viper's going to kill lot. this. Silver Edge with the ulti. She's going to try to TP, but she's not going to get out. Not even close. The Viper is still picking up a crazy amount of kills, but it's just kind of the same thing without the Void. When the Void isn't around, the Void needs to be around for more of these ganks and really helping and make things happen so they can pick up more than just one kill at a time. Mm -hmm. Viper, notoriously bad at doing anything but going on one hero, and he can definitely do that against the uh, Radiant team. He can do a good job of uh, picking off one hero and making these uh, picks. But Just missed, actually, the Zeus going down to the Void and Nerf Shaker. Oh, they're both there. I thought he just randomly suicided. Well, that's better at least. Oh, all five heroes are up. Oh, they're gonna get this lion with a few stuns. Jock after all, just to protect a little bit, but can the void get a chrono? He's not gonna be able to get into the chrono. He finally gets in, but actually he might. Yeah, he's gonna be able to take this gyro after all with a few more auto attacks. Too fast, too furious. Oh, he's out anyway. He runs. He runs into the entire dire team though. But I think the radiant are definitely like they're just throwing this game. They're just talking about their item choices. I think the gyrocopter had a trolled a little bit. He trolled a little bit too much, and he played well this game. Like I don't know if I'd actually put the game on him only because there was a lot of other mistakes that caused it. But I think oh, he might have been able to just pull out a single-handed victory with uh, a little bit more conventional item choices. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Hopefully, the Dyer get. Maybe a little bit aggressive, that's what the Radiant are hoping for, and uh, while the Chrono's down, they might be able to snag something, but other than that, they're... I don't, I don't think, I don't think this Prophet ratted enough. No, he didn't really use the skills of the heroes to their best advantages. He can't really, only because he was... He didn't really have a lot of farm at the time when he really could have been able to do some damage to this team. Now he's just going to get gone out by Earthshaker, he's going to get gone out by Faceless Wood as soon as he tries to get near a tower by himself, so... Mm -hmm. It's kind of hard for me to say like that here. I just don't have enough experience on it, but I think that it might have been better. It might have been better off with the start that he had to just get either get a minus or just get like a shadow blade and uh, add necro and just kind of rat and try to play it that way. But he does. They do have a lot of ways to punish slow pushing heroes. They have the viper with the invis. They have the void, like I said, and the earth shaker with the once he got the blink dagger. It's a great hero against the nature prophet slow pushing. Oh, they're gonna actually gonna find this prophet right now. He needs. They need to leave. Both the lion and the prophet are gonna get ultied. He doesn't actually have it. He pops Mask of Madness, and they're going after two different heroes. It's long enough, though. I think Dyer might actually just be too far out at this point, to be honest with you. Mm -hmm. I mean, the Dark here is... He had a little bit of mistakes early on, but... He's got Aghanims now, which is questionable. Yeah, I think uh, the Aghanims is the choice on the Darks here, uh, but he needed it early on. His farm fell off very quickly, uh, losing a couple of deaths because to just some bad engagements that they took overall. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, I think it is the right choice this game. I think it's useful against the heroes that they have, especially the Nature Prophet built the way that he is with the good auto attacking right clicks uh, and the Gyrocopter obviously overall just in side items, and he's going for an I wanted to believe that that was going to be a butterfly. So bad. Oh, God. Wanted to believe. I thought that, yeah, I thought that's what it was going to be. I mean, it's going to help all of his magic damage, I guess, because he does do all skill-based magic damage besides the flight cannon, but... Radiance top tower is under attack. Some players like to do some weird things in in-house games, which make me upset when I play them. Mm-hmm. I was playing a game as Gyrocopter three or four days ago and was doing really well with a Wisp player on my team and he was doing a great job and then our hard carriers had decided to go for a level 5 Dagon first item and that didn't really work out in the way that, that I had hoped the game would go so <laughs> it's not a great item pickup and sometimes item pickups are important when you aren't gonna for sure win the game so mm -hmm. Blink actually on top gonna grip the Zeus and Zeus is dead 
One hundred percent. Good swap. Oh wow. Great swap. Is that Viper as a basher? He does. Yep. Viper could have went down there, but they're scared of the void jumping on him. Was he gonna would. jump in? Oh, I wish he would have chronoed it immediately. It would have been hilarious. I think he can just afford to make like not mistakes even, just like he can afford to make aggressive plays like that. Mm -hmm. He sure. still has buyback. He has plenty of gold and plenty of farm, but he still has his minus. So I think that they can pretty much just throw it now. They're just picking off heroes left and right. I think that that, that Raiden are pretty much done for here, unless they have some sort of miraculous fight where the gyrocopter just kills all five heroes all at once. So. And they rush down mid, but. Gyro, despite his item choices, is still fat. Um, if he gets his Ethblade off before the Void goes on him, he... Okay. What? Now he won't have to worry about Chrono. Because it is gone. Did he... Did he whiff it? There's a lot of whiff spells going on. A lot of mental mistakes here. This Viper is actually just so fat right now. It's it's very difficult for Gyro to deal with him because he can't just burst him down. He's got mm -hmm. 2,200 life and... and 31 or yeah, 31 armor. So it's just so difficult for him to just kill him. He can kill the void easy if he just gets a couple spells on him while he has mask of madness on. But the viper is just so tanky. It's just so difficult for him to do anything to him. And the viper can kill him 100 percent if he gets on him with his ult. It looks like the radiant are just gonna push out other lanes. They have a couple TPing back though. I'm gonna get a swap off on the viper. Viper's just gonna shadow blade. Finger on the void. Void's dead. And That's magic missile on the creep. Out. The gyrocopter all actually goes off, and I don't even think that echo hit anything. Grip on top of the Nature's Prophet, but they're not going to get that either, and the, this is the flub that you were talking about. Yeah, that's the fight right there. The fight that they lose because Gyrocopter just manhandles all five of them. Prophet they goes top, but honestly, if this Viper rotates over, Prophet's dead. Nick's exactly what's going to happen. Prophet's dead. I mean, all zero is back in snow. Mm -hmm. Oh, actually, if he kills, if he auto attacks Viper enough, and then no, no, no. Oh, somebody's TPing in on top of it. Oh, lion! Oh, lion! You can't kill him with your ult. Oh, got him! Oh, wow! But oh, that glimmer. No, don't ult this void. You don't need to. It's a lion. You can ult that guy. There you go. There you yes, Jaro's dead. Oh, I think. Oh he's... my gosh! Oh no! Wow. Wow. What a player. What a play. The Athlade making me my own words yet again. Oh, he's still dead, I think. Nope, he's fine. Uh, I don't know. Because the Dark Seer is blink. Oh, but actually, the Radiance. Amazing. Yeah, he's, he lives. Oh, no, the Fisher completely whiffs as well. <laughs> The jukes on this gyrocopter is insane right now. Oh, he's gonna kill all three of these kids, by the way. He's gonna he's gonna kill all three of them. Yep. Oh my gosh. Uh, game. I cannot believe that just Dota. happened. The game of Dota. This gyrocopter makes just so many questionable decisions and then still just ends up bringing it home. Oh, he's gonna get, I think he's dead now. Yeah, he's yeah, dead. He's, he's gonna good. take too much damage from that. I think he's always buyback though, he does. The Viper just cleans up on them though because he's Viper and Viper's a good hero. Uh, I think the Viper should honestly go Abyssal now. Mm -hmm. I kind of have used his white angle Manta first, but I think he just wants to bash against the Gyro, which is fair enough. Uh, if he can bash the Gyro, the Gyro has no way to get away from him and will just die every time. That uh, that ten percent bass chance. I, it's worth it if he gets an abyssal. Let me put it that way. Yeah. I think that it's a very and strange pickup without what? it. But what just happened? Oh, he heals himself for the poison damage. Okay. Yeah, that's yeah, gonna kill him. Or not gonna kill him right there. Let me say. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. So this is pretty drawn out to be honest and skip show it over. Why is he Sprout for vision? Earthshaker's gonna stop and they get a grip and there goes the prophet. I mean I don't know if he can pull some crazy con oh nothing. Lion is on the run right now, but the dire give up. Yeah, this game is very 
Very uh, low concentration, I would oh, say. I don't even want to say low skill. This Viper is completely wrecking this team right now. What is his current kills? 22 and 5. Yeah. I mean, that's the problem with Viper, though, is really that this late in the game, he does a really uh, good job of killing one hero, and that's it. And they could might be able to get a push off of this, but he keeps killing like the Prophet and the Lion, which is good for preventing the game from ending on their end, but they're not really making any headway on getting into the base. They need to kill the Gyrocopter. They need to get Void onto him and not get swapped out, and I think that's going to be very difficult for them to do. Mm -hmm. Because with this refresher Zeus with a gyrocopter, if they catch out too many, they have no BKBs on the dire zero, which is yeah. insane for going against a Zeus lion. To be honest, yeah, I just, I mean, I think the boys would be giving now, but uh, it's very that this game could have been over either way I would say about 10 minutes ago if they would have just not picked strange items over and over again not even just like the one time you know like the void going Midas uh, would have been like the only one that they could have made and they could have still you know ended the game if you would have gone for a more damage heavy build early on or the Viro just getting an MKB and uh, Sandra Nyasha and just running through everyone on the other team I think he's I don't know what he, I think he's getting a rapier now honestly yeah he is he's just gonna buy a rapier straight out who is Viper? The gyrocopter. Oh. I think they. I don't even know if they can fight into that. Honestly, I think they just lose the team fight if he gets a if he gets a divine. Mhm. Mm as long as he stays alive with a divine mask of madness. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they have a good way of dealing with him. They haven't been a good. They haven't done a good job of getting on him as of yet. And as long as the Venge stays behind him and is able to swap him out of the Chrono, they don't have a good way to get on him aside from the Viper. So. On top of the Viper is just gonna abyssal and kill the lion, and then Earthshaker is gonna kill them. <laughs> Those two are just perfect. getting punished for getting out of their base, and I... Your mic actually cut out. This mic is the worst, but... I, they're just getting punished so hard for coming out of their base and trying to do something, but I don't even think they can do anything else, because the only other option they have is to just stand behind this gyro and wait for him to maybe win the game. Mm -hmm. I mean, I guess I understand the rapier, because at this point, if they lose a fight and he can't buy back, they lose anyways. Did he buy back that other time? Is he still... No, he just spent all his money, so he doesn't have it. Yep. I don't know. He could have bought back, I guess. I don't know if the Rapier is 100% the right choice, but should they actually win a team fight in which they don't kill the Gyro right away, which is what they should be doing, but they haven't been, then they win the game, probably, because they can probably push faster than the Dyer can get alive. This is so bad. Oh, but in the base right now, Viper's taking out the Venge, and all bad. they got well, a Chrono on top of the... Yeah, Gyro, that. actually with a divine <laughs> clone. They're all dead to a rapier gyro that they just don't get any spells on to do anything. Is this Void being a die? He actually just does so much damage. He does almost 600 Zeus, damage. No! Wow. That's just. He just got insane damage. He has no survivability. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a mask of madness at twenty one hundred life. The most survivability he has is using his athlete on people, and he just and just, just a few right clicks. And that was, I mean, I guess that's level level sixteen finger, so it doesn't matter. But this is a crazy amount of damage that he's putting out right now. If they just don't get on him, he j he just pumps out, you know. What, how, many, how many attacks is it? Six attacks. Six <laughs> attacks of 600 damage. It means everyone around who gets attacks takes 3,600 raw damage. And none of them are really ready to get that much except for the Viper. And even he can't take that much damage. I mean, he's got, you know, a couple armor, but it's not going to matter when the gyro is just hitting so hard. He's going to be able to get two attacks off per second as well with the Math Command this active. Yeah. And it's a very wonky build against a coordinated team, but he's also not playing against a coordinated team. So, mm -hmm. I mean... And they're just going to clean up. I mean, Echo Slime barely does anything to them at this point. Well, the Dyer had the game definitely in their grasp. And, uh, I don't even have words for this game. Just how, uh, there's so many, like I said, just low concentration of plays. Just low. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're just trolly, like, bad plays. They're just 
Somehow the Radiant pulled it out, and the Gyrocopter, for what it's worth, his item build is odd, but guess what? He won the game, and he still has the highest farm in the game like he's had the entire game, so mm. can't really bash on it too much. It worked, and he won the game, so that's a good build then. Worked out. I don't know if I would say it's a good build, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to recreate this in Second no. Divine. <laughs> Second Divine gets rid of the uh, the blade because we don't need any survivability. He needs attack speed when you've got a mask and madness. Oh, Chrono. Get both- wait, wait, Oh my gosh, get both Divines! Right on the floor right now! He's dead. Oh, Zeus got one back, and he's dead. Gyro got back on die. the Gyro, but he's gonna die again! He dies back! But they're gonna- are they gonna end the game beforehand? No, Viper's actually defending! Viper is gonna bash- or, um, Abyssal, the- they're just gonna take out the Prophet as well. If they push out right now with double Divine, Gyro can't buy back. Oh, the lion, what are you doing, dude? There's so many just... What is going on what in this game of Dota? It's so... On. I don't think I've ever seen this many throws and counter throws in a single game of Dota in a really long time. Dyer's ancient is the lion's making it out. They're trying to... Strip, but he's just... He's gonna teleport what a wizard. out. This gets out. But, I mean, like... Yeah, they got the uh, double divines, and they didn't... They're not against mecha creeps, so I don't think they lost yet. Technically, right? Who? The, the Dyer. Dyer. No, I don't think they lost at all. I think they might have won the game now, which is just sad for everyone. <laughs> I don't know how they even throw that. The Dyer all you to do is not get Chrono. That was the only thing he had to do was not get Chrono and just back up and let the... Look at his net worth. He is now enemies. middle of the pack. Yeah. Well, yeah, he lost, you know, how much, how much gold does the Vine cost? He just <laughs> lost 16k net worth off of just two items that he dropped. And he sold the... Uh, he didn't even, like, put it in a different... He didn't no, even put it on the courier. He... He took his um. He took his F blade and just sold it. Oh, that was a nice auto attack there, Void. <laughs> but honestly, this Void could oh. die. Just take the rag. Take the tower. <laughs> Prophet and Gyro are down. He's just gone. And you just so wasted scared. BKB. They're so scared, so I don't know. Zeus already used one ult, too. I have literally no idea what they're scared of. Oh, they're just going to get bottom, I guess? I don't know. I, I don't know, but they're wasting so much time. Gyro's going to be back up, as well as Nature's Prophet, and Prophet's just going to TP into the base. If he gets all of these uh, effigies... Yeah. Chrono kills the Void, or the Zeus, and... Void can't die here. Go mid. Go mid, dude. Real fast. Get off the goddamn wells! Okay, there goes right for throwing. That's the best choice. The, the I know it's not. He's dead. He just wasted that. He just gets a gets a divine back. Who is the other divine? The next switch, Viper. Nice. Oh, Viper does. Viper's oh, gonna kill this so guy. No, he's gonna kill him too and take the other one. No. Both of his rapiers. Oh, oh no, he no he's not. The oh. divine's on the ground. Bane's gotta pick him up. <laughs> he can't. He's Prophet's gonna. Prophet's, Prophet's gonna take him. Oh, but the dark seer's here. Actually, dark seer, what are you doing up there? Nightmare. He's just out. Nightmare. Get, he has both of them. Both of them. Just get out. Double divine Bane. Oh my gosh. All he has to, all Bane has to do is honestly sacrifice himself and give him to the other players. Uh, you gotta sacrifice himself to something good because in this game it does not work. Where you can sacrifice yourself to creeps, you cannot get it. Um, I feel like I've done that before. Maybe in Dota 1, not in this game though. Not recently, at least. That was changed a while ago, I believe, oh. as far as I know. I know you can't do it when you first buy them. I don't know, I guess, if they switch hands and then maybe you can do it. I'm not sure. Um, when you first buy them, you cannot suicide the creeps and then give them... No, I know, but as long as it's picked up by the other players, it's unneeded to everybody. Right I don't... I just can't even... The vast amount of throws and counter throws this game are just unbearable to deal with and take seriously. I... I mean, like, 60-minute game, do two Divine Rapiers. I don't even know how Dyer... Dyer got both of those Divines back somehow. I just can't even... They, <laughs> they trolled... They couldn't have been they, a worse hero either. That's the worst part. Any one of their other heroes would have been a better carrier than Bane. Bane's the only one that does basically nothing with it. But, I mean, I feel like Bane just needs to suicide the Ancients or something, because even if... Like, what is he going to do with it? Thing, I guess he can auto attack, but I mean, usually not auto attacking that much with Bane. Void said again on top because the gyro's gonna TP in on him and kill him. Well, the problem is they got these two divine rapiers on Bane now, and gyro still does a pretty good amount of damage even without well, because he know, still has a radiance 16k items. Yeah, it's 
I can't. I I can't call this one. There's just too many, too many variables of things that are happening. Well, they still have a whole ninety seconds. The Viper's up. They'd need to pay attention because, if anything, the best bet would be. Oh, there's the grip. Echo Slam was kind of overbearing, but. There. Can they kill the Bane, though? Gyrocopter's going right for the Bane. Bane needs to get out. Chill out, dude. If Bane. Oh, Bane gets Guardian Greaves. Gyro's gonna die here. Just die. Just. If Lion kills his Bane, he's not gonna. Okay. That would have been the play right there is to get killed by the Lion. Yeah. I think they can push out and maybe do something now. Whistle them for 50 seconds, unfortunately. And the rest of the heroes are pretty awful at pushing out lanes at this point. Darkseer lost his touch a while ago with pushing creeps out. His Angel obviously doesn't get stronger as the game goes on. So I think he's going Refresher. That is definitely not the item. Shiva's Guard is definitely the item this game. Uh, against the Gyrocopter with the Mask of Madness, if he can get onto him with the Shivas and slow him down, they can definitely do a lot better uh, job of getting on him initially than they haven't been. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, <laughs> I I don't even know where to go with this game because at this point, what else do you build on like the supports? Lion, what can he? He can get an Ags, maybe he can get an um, an Abyssal or not an Abyssal. A um, I think an E Blade is actually better. On that's him. what I was trying to find, but I just couldn't yeah, I was say, I think, think of the word. Probably the best item he can get. I think you should have got a uh, uh, the uh, F Blade or not the F Blade the what is it called in this game? Ghost Scepter. Mm -hmm. uh, a while ago. I think that's definitely a good item for him. It prevents him from dying to the Viper like he has been uh, a lot. Uh, it's a good item against their team overall. Unless you get hit by Echo, you're not really going to get hit by a big magic damaging spell like that. So Viper's on the hunt, though. Yeah, it's like he has been this whole game. He's been the only thing really keeping the dire in the game, to be honest with you, with all of the botched initiations and uh, overzealous plays and dives. He's really been the one kind of being the rock of the team. And Boy, he's going to go in on top and Chrono nothing. Is under attack. He's going to die for it. He BKBs, so he's definitely not going to die to the Zeus, but here comes the Gyro. Oh. Fissure? Oh, where's the Echo right there? Excellent. And they're going to be able to clean up the Radiant almost cleanly. The Lion, obviously, with the Glimmer Cape gets out, but... He's going to show. Oh. They don't have Zeus for 80 seconds. I mean, they don't. Yeah, it's... It's easy for Radiant to push in. Now, they don't have Chrono, though, is the main thing. I think the Viper needs to get another pick before they go in. Or they just have him stand up front, I guess, but... The gyro's still up, and they don't have one of their best control spells that they have this game. They don't have Echo Slam. They still have the Bane ult, but the problem with the Bane ult is that if the Bane is using his ult, he's not hitting people with 800 mm -hmm. damage that he has, so... I think they need to get Dust for this Lion, because he's getting away with this so much. He's getting away with murder all the time. Just mana draining random people, and it's... Crazy the amount of... And now he's, li he's, like, he's creating so much space by making them chase, but the gyro actually both ults... And there goes down oh, Gem, as well as both Divines. They're going to be able to kill the... <laughs> they're going to be able to kill most of the Radiant, but Void goes down as well as Bane. Prophet's going to TP, but he stops it because of the Viper? Yeah, he got Boots Travel. He traveled into a creep that got killed. Viper's got both the Red Divines now? Yes, he does. Yep, and he's going to kill everybody. He's actually dead right here, I think. He didn't get his B. Oh, nope, they get vacuum. BKB. Where's the stun? Oh, now he BKB his Yep. And the, now these guys are all dead, I think. Nope, nope. not. Wedge is dead, at least. Putting a wall up to. I don't know why they're not going mid. Why are they fighting bots still? Yeah, they needed someone oh, else, the... <laughs> I think. The Viper doesn't have any life, unfortunately, so. Oh, yeah. great play. Lion tried to be cheeky there. And I was wondering why the Viper's going so slow, but he, he gave up his boots. Boots were the least important thing he had. I kind of agree with that at this point, to be honest with mm -hmm. you. Uh, the only problem with this now is he can't get back to base, and he's very slow. So he's going to try and hoof it back to base, but I think they're going to try and TP on him and go on him. Lion? 
Can you make it happen? Zeus ult? Yep, dead. Both yep. divines Divine on the ground. Back on the ground. And Lion's actually gonna leave him. They're gonna leave him for the gyro. I think they're just gonna yeah. protect him. I think that's their best choice. I don't think Zeus should pick him up. And no, now this is. No, 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 no. Just leave him. Uh, they're gonna get one of the Prophet, I guess. Why I don't would know they give that. it to the Zeus? Wait, where'd the other divine go? Zeus has it. And, oh? oh, Zeus has one of them. Where'd the other one go? Lion of it? Oh, he does. Okay. Okay. I don't know why they pick him up. They should have just. Yeah, that, that is a bad they decision. They could have just given him to Gyro and the game's over. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Boy, jump on him. Kill him. Just kill the lion right now. I think it's worth killing the lion. This is an easy divine. Wow. That was a wasted chrono. Divine right here on the floor. Viper picks it up. Viper gets it back. He has boots again. He has boots Mobile trip. once more. Mm -hmm. Really, I feel like if this Viper boots the traveled in, Silver Edge, kill this Ven. She just wasted her stun if he was paying attention to that. Yeah. He's busy trash shocking though, so I don't think it's as important. This game's like gonna end up to be like two hours long. I really hope not. I'm pretty much been done with this game for the last twenty minutes because I just can't can't Handle. take the the low level of play that's been going on for the last little bit here, so mm -hmm. it's very very concerning and confusing. I feel like people get stuck into these games like this though, they just they don't know how to how to close out the deal. Mm -hmm. uh, just make it happen and finish the game. The Viper's picked up a DD with his divine. Um, I'll give him that much damage. It gives him an extra 125, so that's not too bad. Okay. Do you think it would have been better to drop the BKB or boots for the divine? Or for the um, Aegis? Mm, no. I don't think so. I think that he can live just fine on his own as long as he doesn't just run it by himself like he did last time and die, so. Yeah. I think he just needs to be more cognizant. If you auto attacks, he's going to take out this tower. He just backs up. It's good. He's by himself. He has no reason to try and just go kill those. So uh, he did a good job of just getting what he needed to. I mean, he does have the DD. So the void, the void, keeping in on the back creep wave. That's good. They are in position to take this fight the best they can. They should go. If they get mega creeps, obviously it's over. This. I mean, I feel like if they get maybe two kills without losing anybody, it's over. Yeah, they just need to get, eke out a win here. All they gotta do is take these top racks and, you know, do it in a timely fashion. I think they're good to go. The Viper's getting gone on right now, yeah, but he he's actually got still stunned very up, tanky. I think even if he loses this rapier, Radiant's they win because they're taking the top racks, which is a good choice. The mm -hmm. point just Radiant's going for... Viper was just creating gaming. space. Yeah. And he didn't even die either. He's still alive. The Darkseer is gonna die, I think. They're yeah, actually, they're oh, they gonna die. could've cleaned up the entire team almost. Here comes Darks here again, but nope, walls up. I don't admit anything. A new age begins. That's teamwork in action. Boy's gonna jump in, get Yules, and get chased down. What a chrono by this Void. Could have been okay if he had his leap up, but he didn't. Yeah, he magic missile, double ulti by the Zeus, Fissure stopping the Zeus, and the Gyro actually didn't get the Void kill. Nope, wrong way, Zeus. Dark Seer's trolling in base right now. I think he's just trying to take the actual towers, which is a good call, but yeah, he's, he's going to die for it. Around by himself, so. The game continues, and we. Why? To, I don't know what Gyro. What is Gyro? He's selling random crap and. Buying up other stuff. He just sold his mass madness to buy a morbid mask. I think he's getting a satanic, but he doesn't have enough money for it, so I don't know why he would sell the mass <laughs> so He just has what nothing I'm now. Like he's he is just above Earthshaker. Like by ten gold. He was he was so far ahead. Like I was saying when they were when they were supposed to win the game, he was so far ahead. And I didn't see a way that they were gonna be able to do it except for throws, which what happened. And he just threw and that is life. Oh the boy might be able to get a oh no. He's just gonna die. So now we're in this weird spot again, where Radiant has a distinct advantage because they don't have any buybacks on the Void or the or the Viper. So if they can actually make it to the opposing team's base, I think they just win. The Darkseer doesn't have either of his ults up. He has one ult up actually right now. The Bane also has his ult up, and they have Echo, so they might be able to take this fight still. 
But that's basically if they all just group up. If they just don't group up, then I don't think that they can stop them. The gyro just goes there with someone else. I think they just win. Gyro and so Natures could was... easily take this right now if they just like what yeah, just actually, rush. Yeah, the Nature up twenty two. Um, I think the gyro needs to make his way over there. It looks like he is. He's buying more divine rapiers. Gyro, I don't get you. What? I don't understand his life. Just but, happened. Uh, Wait, he, did he split he, the Sanjanyasha to he, sell he, it separately? Yeah, I don't know why. Um, that doesn't actually give you any more gold than normal. He's no got his divines back, or I think he has different divines. Did anyone else pick up one? Do they have three divines now? Yes, the zoo still has a divine. So there's three divines on the field, all belonging to Radiant. Logic would dictate that they're going to just win the game, because realistically, they shouldn't be able to fight into three divine rapiers, but <laughs> be I've been surprised. wrong before, so, <laughs> I mean... But all they need to do, they don't even need to fight. They have no buybacks. I mean, they, they can literally just go and hit this base, and I don't think there's anything they can do about it. They don't even they have, they have the fort, but it's still 30 seconds till anyone, any of their core heroes are and up, so... And Bane's just going to die here. Darkseer has essentially nothing. He might be able to like, get the gyro, but they're just losing. Yeah. Nope, okay. and they lose. The game wow. of Dota has completed. That, uh, that's a game. That's that's the game of Dota. Uh. <laughs> Don't watch this game if you've never watched Dota before. It is just very indecisive. I, I think we ran out of things to say 15 minutes ago, so I have no I, closing No, I statements. got pretty much nothing. Alright, well... Uh, I'm gonna put this one up on YouTube. So I have been trips. I've been walrus. Um, yeah, yeah. That's Stop. how I'm gonna end it.